Hey Dynamics 365ers, it's Benitez here and in this vlog today I'm going to show you how you can make the invitation URL work in Dynamics portals. So the scenario is you are utilizing the out of the box process of users redeeming an invitation code to access the portal. However, you're tearing your hair out because you simply can't make that URL work. And I've been there, my colleagues have been there, and I get asked about it all the time. So in this vlog, this is what I'm going to share. And yes, there is a method of madness to it. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so the workflow that you want to update is called the send invitation workflow. This is the workflow that comes with Dynamics Portals when the Dynamics Portals uh, solutions are installed. So you want to open it and you want to go ahead and deactivate the workflow. And the step that we're going to update is the create email step. And we're going to click on set properties. And when the window loads, you're going to see the URL that is provided as part of the solution for Dynamics Portals. And you'll see here that there's a thing called local hosts um, with 7500 and that is where you think you insert your portal URL. Um, so let's see what happens when you do that. So I'm back in the portal and I'm going to grab the URL and I'm going to replace it in here. Right. So if we save and close this, and we activate the workflow. What we're going to do next is go ahead and send the invitation email to the user. So I've created an invitation against one of the sample contacts in Dynamics 365. And basically, when I want when the user, sorry, when the contact redeems their invitation, I would like them to have the applicant web role that I've created. And so here's here's the invitation code that is going to allow them to supposedly access the portal. So the next thing that we need to do is run the workflow. So this is the workflow um, that we've just updated with the link. So now that workflow is kicking off, it's going to go ahead and create what we call an invitation record. And from within that invitation record, there's going to be an email that gets created. All right, so at the moment it's in draft. So just give it a few seconds and it'll update to pending send. There we go. So I'm going to open up this email and we'll see that there's a link and you can see that it's pointing to the portal address. And what's going to happen when we click on it? Let's find out. And you see up here that it's still using that same um, piece of string that was originally there. And so that doesn't work. So the next thing we have to do is, is try again. And we're going to go ahead and try perhaps inserting a hyperlink. Okay, so it's this bit that I want to highlight. Actually, I should have just written it down. And this time we are going to grab the URL. Actually, all of this, all of the URL. All right, and then in the form assistant, you want to scroll down to encode invitation code because we're calling um, that workflow step. And so I'm just going to cut this out and paste it into here. And so that looks OK, right? Right? So we go ahead and save and close. Uh, and I'm not going to delete the one up here, just so that you know that I've created um, that second one. OK, so do you think that workflow is going to work? Let's find out. Okay, so here's the email that the workflow has created. 
and here's the link. So now if I click on here, let's see if it works. So it doesn't really work because A, you can see that the invitation code is not in there. And this is the point where you kind of go, why is this not working? This doesn't work. This is a piece of SHIT. How am I supposed to make this work? Okay, so what I'm going to show you is now another method that you can use and we'll see if that works. So previously what I did was I selected on the hyperlink and I've copied and pasted the URL and then I went down to the encode invitation code. But as you saw, that didn't work. So then the next thing that you want to do is in this actual um, hyperlink string, I then go into the form assistant in here. So not in the actual hyperlink form assistant window, but in the actual workflow window and I click on encode invitation code and I click add and I click OK. So now we can see that has been added and then what I do is I just simply get rid of the spaces. Cool. And let's see if that works. So save and close and let's activate the workflow. email record and let's see when we click on here that it will work woohoo okay so see up there you can see the um, invitation code has been encoded however this isn't populated and that could be a good or a bad thing um, so if it wasn't populated, then you would hope that the user has some common sense to go ahead and copy their code and insert it in here and then click on register. However, we always need to assume that the user is not going to know this because the user may not, well, simply the user is not going to know. I mean, when a user usually clicks on the link, it will redirect them to the web page and it will just work and you know usually the user doesn't have to do anything but in this case there's no way they can work this out so the tip that i have for you actually lies in the out of the box url that it gets and that is part of the send invitation workflow when the portal solutions is installed so let's go back into the workflow and i'll share that tip with you so what I've just shown you is, yes, the link is now working and you can see that the code is showing up here, but it's not being inserted in the invitation field itself. And, uh, you know, there's no way that the user, that the, the person who's receiving that email is going to figure out that they need to copy and paste the code. Okay, so we're back in the email. And if you look closely at the original URL that was provided in the send invitation workflow when Portals was installed, you will see that right after the, um, the F letter in the URL, you'll see that there's some um, extra string there and it's called um, ampersand invitation equals. So that's what we're going to do in here as well. So we're going to do the ampersand invitation equals. And by inserting this string, it will now, well fingers crossed, it will now um, insert the code into the field itself. So it's kind of like playing, you know, that puzzle back in the day where you would do the whole spot the difference with two images. Um, that's, that's what I went through when I was going through this for the first time, um, but like a few years ago. And I was just like, why is it not working? Why is it not working? And then when I actually looked at the original URL and compared it with my one, I was like, oh, what if I put in the ampersand, the invitation, the equals, and then it simply just worked. Okay, so we've now 
um, activated the workflow and we want to go back into the record itself. Are you excited? I am. Probably like, why would she be possibly excited about this? Because let me tell you, after so many <laughs> trial and errors, and when I finally got this to work, it was just a ah, moment. Yeah. Okay. So here we are. Here's the email. Now let's click on here. Boom. You see that? All right. Cool. That is awesome. That is exactly what we want. So when that user clicks on the here URL, they are going to be redirected to the redeem invitation webpage on the portal and the invitation code will be inserted in the field. So I hope this has saved you time uh, because I've certainly saved colleagues in terms of their time and hair pulling. So if you did try this and it did work for you, leave a comment below, let me know so that I can be like, yay, it worked for someone and I've helped someone. And yeah, that's, that's my tip for today. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like below if you did. Don't forget to follow me uh, by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm also on Twitter, so you can follow me as well. And you can also follow me on Blogger, where you can read um, the full blog post. And I'll leave that link down below. Till next time, see you. Bye.